Hey, what's happening in today? I'm just doing a quick and easy tutorial on how to make headlights or search lights in Lightwave. This is just something for fun, kind of quick and easy. So to start, just going to go into in out and I'm going to go to the interchange and I'm going to just bring in a model. We have some kind of figurine to look at and then I'm just going to set this to zero frame. And then in the perspective view, I'm going to just adjust my view right here a little bit, maybe bend out like that. And then I'll go into model. I'll go into geometry, ground plane, and I'll just go, okay. And then I've got to punch back in. Okay. Now, if I come over here and I switch to scale or stretch, I can make this look more like a road just by scaling it down and then scaling it along the Z axis a little bit here like that. Now, while I'm on the ground plane object, I'll go into the surface editor, click on shading model, and we're gonna change it to shadow catcher. Then we'll click back on material and we'll turn the spike layer down to 0% and that takes care of that. Now in the new light wave, it comes with a distant light and an environment light. The environment light needs a background, which I don't have. So the, this is basically there, but not doing anything. And then I have a distant light. If I just click on it on the screen, I can come over here to items and just get rid of it because I don't really need it. Okay, so now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to make what appears to be a headlights or a searchlight kind of light. So what we'll do is for that, we wanna use, the, I think the best light for that is gonna be an N-Gon light. So we'll come over here into lights and you'll notice we've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven different kinds of lights We're gonna choose the n-gon light and go okay And there it is you'll notice it comes in at the origin now And if you'll notice if you lift it up, it's actually pointing towards the Z plus and we don't really want it pointing that way So make sure you're on the light and turn the scroll wheel and on the heading Let's just switch that to 180 degrees now It's pointing towards the camera and then what we can do is if I turn the scroll wheel and on position make sure I'm on the end on light. I should be able to click and drag and just pull it back into the distance. But before I do, I'll leave right here and let's just go over some of these settings under the end gone properties. You click here for the properties. You'll notice it has five sides. If you click and give it two, it'll turn it into a circle. So now it's a circle. And if you go here to scale, or I guess you can go stretch or scale. Now let's go to stretch. If we come in here and make sure we're on the light and we click point two, point two, and point two, we've turned it into a nice little light like that. Now I'll turn my scroll wheel and I'm just gonna drag it back more, even more into the distance there. Okay, so I think we're pretty much good to go. Before we go here, I will increase my volumetric samples to eight. The only other thing we need to do is we're in perspective. If we come over here and click right here. We can go match perspective to our camera so that when I switch to camera view, it's the same view as the perspective view. So we'll go camera and then I'll go into VPR. The one thing you'll notice is we've got the backdrop on. So we'll come here to backdrop and we'll turn that off. And now it's completely dark and you might think it's broken, but it's not. So the first thing we're going to do is under the light properties is we'll put click here to visible to camera so we can see our light. And there it is way off in the distance there. And it actually doesn't look like much of a light right now, but all you've got to do to really bring this whole thing together is come up into render, go to render properties. And under volumetrics, turn on use volumetric scattering. And as soon as you turn that on, your whole scene comes to life. A couple things, I mean, there's a number of things you can do to play around with this, but one thing is probably to change the color of the light. That's the quickest and easiest thing to do. And then that gives you a nice kind of light. And you can play around with all these settings. You can you can turn down the intensity of it if you want. And if you want to play around with even more advanced kind of tweaking, you can click here where it says edit nodes. And then you've got these shaders that you can play with the color of the volumetrics itself, the color of the light itself and the illumination color and all that. So you've got all these that you can play around with, with some gradients and things and plug them in. And it's like you come in here and type in gradient and just play around with plugging a, a gradient into here to see different effects you could achieve and other things. Now, let's say we were trying to create a car light. So all we have to do is make sure we're on the light and we'll come here to items and we'll just go down here to clone and clone current item and go yes now it's going to look like it doubles in intensity all we have to do is on position just move drag it to the x a little bit there and then just like that you've got your your car headlights it's really that simple and of course if you really wanted to you could uh put this on parent these lights onto a car model and then just put these where the headlights are and what's really cool about this is these lights will shift so like if i um if i come in here to the scene editor let's say scene editor 
and let me i can just turn off the one light and so i'm on the end on one light so if i come here to light light two you'll notice that i can rotate this if i turn the heading which is really cool so you get a nice you can get a nice search lighting effect if you're trying to create like a search light and someone's searching for something that's a real fun effect to play around with so anyway this was just something real quick and easy to goof around with so i hope you found it helpful take care and i'll talk to you next time